joining that team, I learned the backstory of how they even arrived at the point of writing that library because there was, um, oh my gosh, I'm blanking on the name, but it was a library that Spotify was using at the time, I think, that was like mostly Chromium and like pretty bulky. And then there was NWJS at the time. And so there, it was this sort of Goldilocks situation of none of them did. They were, they were in the space and they were getting close, but none of them did exactly the thing that they needed to do in the way that, you know, Adam needed it done. And so that was the impetus for building Adam Shell. And so sort of learning more about that history, learning more about that space and what was lacking in that space and, and the gap that Adam Shell filled, I just really felt like, (laughs) <laughs> this is like mm-hmm. this is not just a dependency we just leave mm. in you know in a in a stack of a hundred repos that it should really be its own thing and get um and get a team behind it was it hard to convince people of that initially it i mean it was there was like a, <laughs> i mean well so adam had been the vision you know for so long at that time and so you know people didn't necessarily want to take focus off of that. But like in the grand scheme of things, no. I mean, maybe I'm pestered enough.